Hi everyone, this is Louisa, the Eat Right Chef and Integrative Nutrition Health Coach. In my last video, I talked about blood sugar level and sugar crash. In this video, I would continue on this topic and talk about diabetes. Diabetes is a subject that is very close to my heart because my grandmother had diabetes for decades and my mother also has it. So it runs in my family on my mother's side and naturally I'm very concerned that I might also get it. First of all, I want to um, tell the personal experience from my family that um, diabetes is definitely not only a disease of the affluent uh, and it does not necessarily have the outward uh, symptom of obesity or even being fat. Okay, um, fat, being fat and being diabetic, sometimes they're related but not necessarily. And even though my grandmother was on the fat side, my mother is not. She is very petite. She does have um, an, um, a, a bulge in her belly, the belly fat, which is quite typical of a diabetic person. Um, but the point I want to get at is that Diabetes, as opposed to what many people think is caused solely by eating a lot of sugar in the diet, you know, this is not true because um, think about the time when my grandmother uh, grew up and um, she went through the Second World War and then the Great Famine in China. So for the most part, she didn't have enough to eat. And I remember growing up, she was always so excited to see lard or some you know, cooking fat being available. And she mentioned how difficult it was to get a hold of fat in cooking. So there wasn't a lot of fat in the diet. And as a result, you know, um, she and the millions and billions of people in China, they uh, resorted to eating a lot of grains, um, mostly rice, of course, and vegetables and whatever is available. But meat and fat were definitely not readily available. They were um, very scarce. And when I look back in her history, I can understand that this sort of combination was conducive to um, her, you know, developing diabetes. The reliance on grains and the lack of fat and protein as the main source of energy had created the um, the um, imbalance in her um, in the insulin production okay so the um, constant and the frequent ingestion of carbs increased the need for uh, of the pancreas to secrete insulin and in order to lower the blood sugar level, as I have um, described, you know, in my previous video. And uh, in time, this mechanism becomes tired. And um, so then there is um, insulin resistance, which in the long run, leads to diabetes. Um, in my mother's case, she also grew up with the big famine in China and uh, later on, even though uh, she did not live in the famine state, she does not like to eat meat, according to her. 
and um, she has started to subscribe to the idea that um, one should eat very little fat and very little meat for good health and this started probably 20 years ago uh, when she moved to America and you know this low fat diet and low fat low sodium less meat kind of concept was um, popular in the uh, healthy eating um, you know circle or um, whatever health authorities were telling her so anyway um, unfortunately um, this didn't work so fast forward to now she uh, is 75 years old and recently she has uh, been diagnosed with extremely high blood sugar level uh, the index went up to 200 um, and she was very concerned and her doctor wanted to give her uh, pills to control the blood sugar level metformin which is commonly prescribed to diabetic people but luckily she did not accept that because she didn't want to rely on medication the rest of her life so she um, discussed with me and I told her mom you need to eat right and for her she's a type B and type B individuals do need a very well balanced diet with meat that are beneficial for them and that includes lamb in particular and no chicken at all and um, they do need some good fat and a lot of uh, beneficial vegetables but for a diabetic like her I told her to cut out all wheat derived products wheat products like bread and um, you know the wrappings in, in dim sum which she would uh, eat every week with her friends because eating dim sum is a main social event for the Chinese and um, noodles made with wheat flour for example should be cut out completely because when you consume products food that's made from white flour in particular it raises your blood sugar level much more than even sugar does so watch out for that and even um, whole grain you know brown bread you might think that it's healthier than white bread but it does the same to your blood sugar level so to her I told her you have to follow this um, way of eating according to your blood type very very closely and to cut out all the avoid foods and to minimize grain consumption so that you can keep your blood sugar level stable and I also have her start on intermittent fasting so I suggested that she would eat within an 8 hour window and the rest of the day, the 16 hours she would give her body a rest and so the you know pancreas wouldn't have to produce insulin all the time you know the body will adjust and um, consume the fat and the protein for energy and some glucose from you know certain um, from the complex carbs from fruits and vegetables she was very concerned about eating fruits she was afraid because of the sugar content but then again I told her you shouldn't be afraid to eat fruits uh, you know 
a moderate amount of food that, fruits that are beneficial for you. And for type B, that includes papaya and pineapple and bananas. Okay, so um, all these beneficial foods, I make sure that she eat them and uh, with the emphasis on the protein part because that's what it was lacking in her diet. So for every meal, I made sure that she has some protein, especially animal protein for at least, you know, the, the lunch and the dinner, I would have her have some eggs and some um, beneficial cheese uh, and also lamb or turkey or beef, which is neutral, but still it's, um, uh, you know, pro good protein um, and, uh, you know, and then lots of veggies. So she started in earnest rather than half-heartedly as she did before, you know, she didn't really believe in this, but I said to her, you know, do you want to, I asked her, do you want to keep on taking medication the rest of your life or you want to heal yourself from this? And she was very motivated to um, take control of her health again. So she followed my instructions on um, eating according to the blood type diet. And she also uh, started to eat within this eight hour window and the rest of the time let her body rest. And one immediate effect was that she found that, oh, the digestion is much better because she used to always complain, oh, I'm not hungry, but then she always forced herself to eat at a certain hour because that's just the way it should be um, all her life. You know, she eats according to the clock, not according how, to how she feels. And that's a problem with, uh, for a lot of people, you know, eat when you are hungry and follow the body's natural rhythm. Don't force yourself. And that's what happened to her. She forced herself to eat and the body was, you know, for example, the pancreas was forced to pump out the insulin to lower her blood sugar level whenever she has too much uh, grains, for example, uh, carb, refined carbs to digest. So she noticed immediately her digestion is better and she um, started, you know, after the intermittent fasting, she started to feel real hunger and when she's really hungry she actually welcomes the meat so this starts a positive cycle you see so after about two weeks her numbers went down from 200, 180 down to 110, hovering around 100. Sometimes it would go up and down, but you know, she, her body is still adjusting. And the very encouraging thing is that it has gone down. It has never gone up uh, above 150. And most of the time is around 110. So that's a great improvement. And she also um, started to do more exercise. Um, she started to uh, walk, you know, um, do brisk walking around the block. And uh, she has this pedometer on her phone and there is a kind of a competition among her friends. So that gave her motivation. She's a very competitive person. So um, it works for her. So, you know, whatever works for you. Um, and of course, according to your blood type, you should be doing different kinds of exercises that uh, will help to improve your metabolism, but not stress you out too much. And um, uh, there is a video about this. I will put a link down there uh, made by a friend of mine, uh, Eric Morrison. So you can look at the video and uh, find out more about exercising for your blood type uh, in a way that does not stress you out. But anyway, for my mom, uh, increased exercise level helped her control the blood sugar level as well. So um, what I want to say in this video is that there is hope uh, for diabetics and if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, you can take charge of your health 
by adjusting, tweaking the, your diet and uh, giving your body a, a rest in um, digestion and metabolism and uh, also increasing your exercise level to suit your own uh, body type and all of these in combination will help you control and uh, lower your blood sugar level and uh, when it comes to the diet balance is so important and uh, the the key is to make sure you have a good source a beneficial source of protein in every meal and lots and lots of vegetables it will not harm you but make sure you choose the right type of vegetables of course according to your blood type and for diabetics minimize uh, wheat and um, processed grains process refined grains and uh, you know flour and uh, of course sweeteners and for the rest just eat according to your blood type and you will see improvements day by day okay well i hope you find this video helpful and if um, you have friends who are uh, diabetic or pre-diabetic make sure you share this video with them there is always hope and um, of course you know if you um, have somebody a health buddy to help you to motivate you to do exercise and eat right that will also uh, help you even more just like the way that uh, the, that I help my mother because um, you know I live with her and I can make sure that she eats the right stuff and when when she is just uh, deflated about oh having to make another meal with meat then I step in and you know I make a big batch of um, meat with vegetables so she can have it for a couple of days well um, if you need some hand holding or advice and guidance in turning your health or your diabetic condition around you can look me up and um, check out my coaching service I'll include a link below and I invite you to have a free consultation 30 minute consultation with me to find out if um, you want to work with me on your health okay so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family and I will see you in the next video bye